Hey everyone, James Lambert here. You know I went from knockouts to knowledge and from headlocks to hugs. I still embrace people just now in a more positive way. So how you doing? I hope you're really, really well and life's treating you beautifully. I just wanted to share this lovely piece of writing in this one of the books I'm currently reading. I've always got lots of books on the go in my quest for constant improvement, personal development, and yeah, self-improvement. This one, Peace is Every Step, by the lovely Buddhist monk Thich Nhat Hanh. Um, really good book, but I just want to share this. The subtitle was entitled Pillow Pounding. Expressing anger is not always the best way to deal with it. In expressing anger, we might be practicing or rehearsing it and making it stronger in the depth of our consciousness. Expressing anger to the person we are angry at can cause a lot of damage. Some of us may prefer to go into our room, lock the door and punch a pillow. We call this getting in touch with our anger. But I don't think this is getting in touch with our anger at all. In fact, I don't think it's even getting in touch with our pillow. If we are really in touch with the pillow, we know what a pillow is and we won't hit it. Still, this technique may work temporarily because while pounding the pillow, we expend a lot of energy and after a while we are exhausted and we feel better. But the roots of our anger are still intact. And if we go out and eat some nourishing food, our energy will be renewed. If the seeds of our anger are watered again, our anger will be reborn and we will have to pound the pillow again. Pillow pounding may provide some relief, but it is not very long lasting. In order to have real transformation, we have to deal with the roots of our anger, looking deeply into its causes. If we don't, the seeds of anger will grow again. If we practice mindful living, planting new, healthy, wholesome seeds, they will take care of our anger and they may transform it without our asking them to do so. Our mindfulness will take care of everything as the sunshine takes care of the vegetation. The sunshine does not seem to do much. It just shines on the vegetation, but it transforms everything. Poppies close up every time it gets dark, but when the sun shines on them for one or two hours, they open. The sun penetrates into the flowers and at some point, the flowers cannot resist. They just have to open up. In the same way, mindfulness, if practiced continuously, will provide a kind of transformation within the flower of our anger and it will open and show us its own nature. When we understand the nature, the roots of our anger, we will be freed from it. Wow. Peace is Every Step by Thich Nhat Hanh. Uh, just an incredi incredible piece of writing there. And I found that it's so funny with, with a lot of things. It sort of comes, the wisdom or knowledge, call it what you will, with hindsight. Because I realised that part, in, in a huge way, percentage-wise, of in my own life of becoming happier and more peaceful, it was doing that. Because before, okay, I, I wasn't always as a as wise so-called as striking pillows indeed i did it with other people even myself such was my rage but although it may admittedly have provided some temporarily some temporary relief because i never got to the root of the anger as it were the next time someone cut me up or the next time somebody was rude or did something i disagreed with up came the anger the violence the rage you know, the, the next fight or the next... Do you know what I mean? It was terribly unhelpful. And so I urge you, particularly if you are dealing with anger, but the source, indeed, or the emotion, rather, could be anything. It could be a feeling of disempowerment. It could be struggling with poverty in terms of thoughts or lack of abundance. It could be anxiousness, what it, depression. Whatever the feeling, understand that there is a source and it's that from the root that you want to dig up and explore it. Now you have to be brave, of course, and this isn't necessarily an easy thing to do. 
Nevertheless, you have the strength, you know, the spirit that I allude to, your unstoppable self. You have got what it takes to do it and to become healthier and happier. You can do it, as I have indeed, and, and still work towards, you know. So it's a process, of course. So I hope you found that really, really enjoyable um, as much as I did. So have a great day, whatever you're up to. And remember, you are unstoppable and I believe in you. Take care.